Mr. Buffett, how can I make $30 billion? Start young. Charlie's always said that the, the big thing about it is we started. Warren Buffett, one of the richest and most successful investors in the world. If you want to learn from the wisdom of the Oracle of Omaha and avoid these 12 common financial mistakes, then keep watching until the end. Before we get started, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. Now, let's get into it. Warren Buffett is the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, a multinational conglomerate that has significant stakes in dozens of businesses such as Geico, Coca-Cola, Apple, and many more. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest investors of all time. Having amassed a net worth of over $120 billion as of August 2023 according to Forbes. He is also known for his frugal lifestyle, his philanthropic efforts, and his simple yet profound advice on money and life. One of the things that Buffett often talks about is how to avoid wasting money on things that don't add value to your life or help you achieve your financial goals. He believes that by being smart and disciplined with your spending habits, you can save more, invest more, and ultimately become wealthier and happier. So what are the 12 things that po people waste money on, according to Warren Buffett? Let's find out. Number one, excessive and frivolous spending. This is probably the most obvious and common way that people waste money. As Buffett says, great fortune are often lost one dollar at a time. It may not seem like a big deal when you buy that coffee, eat out, or order that movie, but every little item adds up. For example, if you spend $25 per week on dining gout, that's $1,300 per year that could have gone towards paying off debt or investing for your future. If you're struggling financially or want to save more, you need to cut down on these unnecessary expenses and focus on buying only what you need and value. Number two, never ending payments. Another way that people waste money is by signing up for subscriptions or services that keep them paying every month, year after year. Things like cable TV, music streaming, gym memberships, or magazines can cost you a lot of money over time, but leave you owning nothing. As Buffett says, beware the investment activity that produces applause. The great moves are usually greeted by yawns. In other words, don't fall for the hype or peer pressure of buying things that don't really benefit you or make you happy. Instead, look for ways to reduce or eliminate these recurring payments and invest the money in something more productive or meaningful. Number three, living on borrowed money. Using credit cards to buy essentials or things that you can't afford is another common mistake that people make with their money. As Buffett says, if you cannot control your emotions, you cannot control your money. When you use credit cards to pay for things that are gone long before the bill is paid in full, you end up paying interest on a depreciating asset, which makes the price of the item much higher than it actually is. Moreover, by living beyond your means, you risk getting into debt and damaging your credit score. To avoid this trap, you need to live within your income and pay off your credit card balance in full every month. Number four, buying a new car. Cars are expensive and depreciating assets that can drain your finances if you're not careful. As Buffett says, it's much easier to stay out of trouble now than to get out of trouble later. Many people buy new cars every few years and lose money on every trade. They also pay high interest rates on car loans insurance premiums, maintenance costs, and gas prices. Unless you need a car for your work or business, or you can afford to pay cash for it, it's better to buy a used car that is reliable and fuel efficient. This way, you can save money on transportation costs and invest it elsewhere. Number five, not saving enough money. One of the biggest reasons why people struggle financially is because they don't save enough money for emergencies or retirement. As Buffett says, do not save what is left after spending. Spend what is left after saving. Saving money is not optional. It's essential for your financial security and peace of mind. You never know when an unexpected expense or income loss can happen. So you need to have a cushion of cash to cover at least six months worth of living expenses. You also need to save for your retirement as early as possible because the power of compound interest can make a huge difference in your wealth over time. To save more money, you need to pay yourself first by setting aside a percentage of your income every month and putting it in a high yield savings account or a retirement account. Number six, not investing early enough. Another mistake that people make with their money is not investing early enough for at all. As Buffett says, the best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. 
the more you learn, the more you learn. Investing is not only about putting your money in stocks, bonds, or real estate. It's also about investing in your education, skills, and knowledge. By learning new things and improving yourself, you can increase your income potential and create more opportunities for yourself. You also need to invest your money in assets that can generate passive income and appreciate in value over time. By starting to invest early, you can take advantage of the power of compound interest and grow your wealth exponentially. To invest wisely, you need to do your research, diversify your portfolio, and follow a long-term strategy. Number seven, diversifying too much. While diversification is important for reducing risk and volatility in your investments, diversifying too much can also hurt your returns and performance. As Buffett says, diversification may preserve wealth, but concentration builds wealth. This means that instead of spreading your money across too many investments that you don't know much about, you should focus on a few quality investments that you understand well and have confidence in. Buffett follows this principle by investing most of his money in a handful of companies that he knows inside out and believes have strong competitive advantages and growth potential. To avoid over-diversifying, you need to do your due diligence, have a clear investment thesis, and stick to your circle of competence. Number eight, paying too much attention to the market. The stock market is a volatile and unpredictable place that can tempt you to make irrational decisions based on emotions or noise. As Buffett says, remember that the stock market is manic depressive. This means that the market can swing wildly from day to day on the smallest of news, sentiment, or rumors, but these fluctuations don't reflect the true value or performance of the underlying businesses. If you let the market influence your actions, you may end up buying high and selling low, which is the opposite of what you should do. To avoid this mistake, you need to ignore the market noise and focus on the fundamentals of the companies you invest in. You also need to have a long-term perspective and be patient with your investments. Number nine, not having a plan or a goal. One of the reasons why people fail to achieve their financial goals is because they don't have a plan or a goal in the first place. As Buffett says, someone sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. This means that if you want to enjoy the fruits of your labor in the future, you need to plant the seeds today by setting clear and realistic goals and making a plan to achieve them. Without a plan or a goal, you may end up wandering aimlessly or wasting time and money on things that don't matter. To avoid this mistake, you need to have a vision for your future and write down your specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound SMART goals. You also need to break down your goals into smaller steps and track your progress regularly. Number 10, not learning from mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes with their money at some point in their lives, but not everyone learns from them. As Buffett says, it's good to learn from your mistakes. It's better to learn from other people's mistakes. This means that instead of repeating the same errors or blaming others for your failures, you should take responsibility for your actions and learn from them. You should also seek advice from others who have more experience or knowledge than you and avoid making the same mistakes they made. By learning from mistakes, you can improve your skills and judgment and avoid costly consequences in the future. Number 11, not giving back to society. One of the most admirable things about Warren Buffett is his generosity and philanthropy. He has pledged to give away most of his fortune to charitable causes and has inspired many other billionaires to do the same. As Buffett says, Money will not change how healthy you are or how many people love you. This means that money is not an end in itself. It's a means to an end. Money can help you achieve your goals and dreams, but it can also help you make a positive difference in the world and leave a lasting legacy. By giving back to society, you can not only help others who are less fortunate than you, but also enrich your own life with meaning and purpose. Number 12. Not having fun with money. Last but not least, one of the things that poor people waste money on is not having fun with money. As Buffett says, if you're not having fun, you're doing something wrong. This means that money is not only a tool for achieving your goals and dreams, but also a source of joy and happiness. Money can help you buy experiences that enrich your life, such as traveling, learning, or pursuing your passions. Money can also help you express your creativity, personality, and values, such as by buying art, music, or books that inspire you. By having fun with money, you can not only enjoy the fruits of your labor, but also motivate yourself to work harder and smarter.